a you know they're all hypocrites but aoc always bothers me a little bit more than the others because if you actually cared about the environment um you would you know do something about it but she doesn't and i have a really hard time with anybody who's so in love with the idea of aoc but hey she's uh she says the right words let's hear what she says now donald trump is running around he put on his little McDonald's <laughs> costume. Halloween came early for Donald Trump. <laughs> Oh, well, that's not bad, AOC. All right. All right. You're making fun of Donnie for wearing the um, the going going cosplay on the McDonald's worker. Well, all right. I mean, she was a bartender. She knows service industry. She was in the service industry for yeah most of her life, right? Because we know that man's never worked a day in his life. We know that man's never punched a clock in his life. He's never wiped down a table in his life. He's never had to fix his own car. He's never struggled to make ends meet. He does not know what it means to check your paycheck every week and see what you've got left. We see. Ooh, that ain't bad, bro. Like, she's coming out swinging AOC. Never wiped down a table. Never checked his paycheck. I don't know. I mean, he has declared bankruptcy four or five times. So, yeah, I, I, I'm sure he has checked his bank account because uh, he's 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 thrown up his hands in defeat and in all of his business failures over and over and over again. Um, I just watched I watched this movie called The Apprentice about Donald Trump, and there's a scene where he's going to uh, he's he's collecting rents for his father. He goes door to door, knocking on the door asking for the money for rent and people are throwing shit at him and stuff. So maybe he did work. I mean, I don't know. It's an interesting depiction of his early life uh, back in the back in the 70s, maybe early 80s, 70s, I think, 70s. Elon Musk coming in here. He's doing these little contests where he's promising people a million dollars in, a, in some kind of lottery giveaway if they sign up for his list. It's so funny. Sign a petition of loyalty for Donald Trump and you get a million dollars. What world is this? What world is this? You have a billionaire just dangling a million bucks to those of us and many of us who are struggling to make ends meet if they dance for him. Yes. You've got Donald Trump putting on a little McDonald's costume because he thinks that's what people do. They're not trying to empathize with us. They are making fun of us. Yeah. Donald Trump thinks that people who work at McDonald's are a joke. Ooh. Well, that's true. He thinks that people who work at McDonald's are a joke. They, he thought that they were, I don't know, putting in people. He's, he literally said while he was doing the McDonald's thing, I thought that I didn't even, I thought people always touch the fries. I thought that they touch the, they touch the fries with their hands, but I know they never touch my human hands. I thought that it was, you go your whole life and you didn't know how the fry. Yeah, I think it's weird that people don't know what's coming through the window. They think that on the other side of that drive through window is just magic and unknown territory. That's a bizarre thing to me. If you're gonna drive through, you should know. Now, I worked in hospitality and restaurants for most of my life, so I know exactly what goes into all of it. I know exactly how the sausage is made. It's one of the reasons why I was vegan um, was because I know exactly what goes into everything and the problems with it all and all the diseases you can get and blah, 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 blah. But to know that there are people who just drive up, derp, -a derp, -a derp, -a derp, they drive through McDonald's and they know what happens on the other side of that window, zero idea, nothing. Donald Trump literally thought that people were taking fries with their hands and putting them into the, he didn't realize that there's a tool that you use a, a little a little fry scoop and you put it in the box like holy shit does he know what vegetable french fries are made of does he know that they're potatoes do you think that most people know whether or not they're potatoes i don't think they do this is the problem that we're facing people are eating quarter pounders with cheese and that are filled with e coli and people are like e coli what's e coli it's shit McDonald's has killed people with E. coli outbreak in 10 states. They've hospitalized 49 people. One person is dead. And what happens on the other side of the window? No idea. No idea what's happening. Holy shit.
she's totally right. He's just like, <laughs> just completely clueless and just makes fun of people. Just, just a joke, people who work at McDonald's. Uh, Elon Musk thinks that dangling money in front of a working person is a cute thing to do. They have absolutely no idea what our lives are like. And so they think this callousness uh, is a way of connecting. It's not a way of connecting because you and I both know that when that camera turns on and they turn around and go into their car, they're laughing at us. They think we are the suckers and they said that publicly. That's that's why Elon Musk thinks that your vote can be bought with a dollar. That's why he thinks that if you put a bunch of money on a mailer and shove it in your mailbox, you'll just do whatever he says. But Pennsylvania, we're smarter than that, aren't we? Yes, we are. We don't take orders from billionaires, do we? We don't allow our elections to be bought, don't we? No, we do not. Because we are going to elect Kamala Harris and Tim Walls and send them to the White House. You know what? I get why people like her, but I still think that she's a fucking hypocrite. You know, it always bugs me that people think that she's so, you know, go vegan. Go vegan, AOC. Go vegan and uh, and I'll vote for you. I, I just, it bugs me because I always hear people like that and they seem like they're, they, they get it. They seem like they understand. Are, are you against authoritarianism? Then stop being an authoritarian. Are you against supremacy thinking? Then stop being a supremacist. You know, she's just as bad as everybody else. She thinks it's just a joke that animals get slaughtered for for funsies, for profit, for the pursuit of profit. 50,000 animals are being killed every second of every day, and AOC doesn't give a shit. AOC says she cares about the Green New Deal and all of these, all the environment and the people and all these things. She cares about oppression. She cares about the dignity, the dignity of the underclasses. But is she standing up for animals? You don't even have to stand up for animals. But the fact that you're eating them, the fact that you are contributing, shows me that you are still subscribed to the thinking of supremacy. And you're a supremacist. Sorry. I know there's a lot of people who are going to tell me, oh, but AOC is so great. But I don't think so. I think she's a hypocrite. No different than the rest. But hey, what do you think, Bartleby? Let me know in the comment what you think about AOC. Is she right? Do you think she's correct? Do you think I'm being too mean? Not endorsing anybody because none of them actually, I don't think that any of them are actually anti-authoritarian. I need anti-authoritarians. That's what I need. I did vote yesterday. You want to guess who I voted for? What do you think, Bartleby? Leave in the comments who you think I voted for. Oh, Bartleby. No humanity.